Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode right here on the School of Radiance podcast. You'll notice that I'm doing a few shifts with my voice and my speaking because it has come to my awareness that a number of you like to listen to this as you drift off to a beautiful, rejuvenating, recovering night's rest. Uh, This is to you, Meredith, because you're going to be listening to this while you're sleeping. Also, this episode is going to get a little bit nerdy. We're going to be focusing on energy and yes, our energy shifts can wax and wane depending on what time of the month that we are in, if we're still menstruating and also with the aging process and just with life in general, I've gone through massive shifts in my life. And what I've learned about energy is that sometimes you do need to rest and relax and then do things to energize you. And for me, that's finally having the energy to actually work out again. And having the energy to work out again and get yourself back on track with your self-care is going to come at the right time. Don't beat yourself up if right now you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I can barely get out of bed. Sometimes we do have those days. And in fact, I do encourage you to listen to when your body does need to relax and recharge and just quiet the mind, the nervous system, and just let the body be a little bit more still. And in fact, the softness and the slowness is really important. I'm not go, go, go all the time. There are lots of times when I really need to slow down and for me to show up and speak this is a time when I kind of speed up. My mind is working at a specific kind of rate for me to be able to show up and teach on different nuances. And then there's times where I just need to slow down because women are not meant to push for extended periods of time. We do so during birth. Men are different because they can push through and you know, always be the provider protector kind of thing. And women were a whole different type of animal. Now, what I'm going to share with you today are some tips to get your energy back up. And a number of you have been listening to the show. When I'm doing a live stream, you're saying things like, oh, I'm using the Qualia NAD now. I'm going to talk about that as a way to help your body have more energy. And I'm also going to share that for the very first time, I cooked up an entire package of beef liver. This is organic, grass-fed beef liver. No, it didn't break the bank. It was very affordable because a lot of people don't want to eat liver. And I cooked it in a very purist approach with a little bit of avocado oil in a cast iron pan and some Redmond's sea salt. And I literally ate the whole plate. After I finished eating that, I felt very light. I could have easily gone to the gym. I could have easily put on a bikini and gone to the beach and not feel like puffy or bloated or anything. And it's interesting because eating beef liver, because it doesn't have the same fibrous tissue as say, if you're eating ground beef or a steak, which is the muscle, it felt much easier for me to digest. Now, I was satisfied, but I still felt light. And then I could have eaten quite a bit more even after eating enough for two people, basically a serving of meat that typically from a meat serving could be like the palm of your fist, which is what a lot of nutritionists and dietitians say. I literally probably ate the equivalent of about five or six palm sized amounts of meat. I eat a lot of meat. I eat a lot of protein and Then the next day I had a ton of energy to the effect that I actually was at the gym twice and played pickleball in between. This is a Sunday. This was my fun day to be active and social. I was really surprised because that was actually a fasted day. I typically will have a scoop of protein in the AM with my collagen. And then sometimes I'll fast at dinner and have a really, you know, delicious high protein meal at dinner time, but sometimes I'll have some meat sticks throughout the day, or I'll cook some eggs in the AM or a couple of scoops of cottage cheese or some salmon or protein bars. I love the meat sticks and protein bars from Paleo Valley, FYI. They're a really great snack to have on hand when you're kind of feeling like, okay, no, I don't want to fast all day. I want to have something. 
and it's easy on the go. Put it in your purse, take it to the office, take it when you're running errands so that you have something. Stay hydrated is really, really key. Staying hydrated with filtered water, and if you can structure it, that's even better. I have a couple of water structuring technologies like the Annalena wand and some of the AquaTrue purifiers or purifiers from pH prescriptions. Those are all on my biohacking page. One of the other things that's really key for energy is actually movement. And when you feel like you just want to lay in bed, you don't want to get out of bed and you just want to rest, sometimes actually the opposite of you simply taking a, oh, that's my mug of lemon water, <laughs> taking a stroll with a loved one, it's good for your hormones, you're going to get that bonding, you're going to be moving your body, or even dragging yourself to the gym to really work your muscles out. We lose muscle as we age. There's also something else we lose as we age, which is NAD. And a number of you on the live sessions have said, I've started taking NAD and I noticed the differences in my energy. Now, why this is, is NAD declines as we age. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about NAD. Um, this is a sponsored episode from my good friends over at Qualia that make a number of great products, including the Senolytics that I take every 21 days. They have their life formula, which is kind of like a multi. They have their mind, which they're also reformulating because they're always making things better, which is what I like about the company. But they also make a really great NAD product. So as a health professional, beauty and aging are at the centerpiece of my research. You all know that. And one thing is very clear. If we desire to age well, we do need to keep our NAD levels higher. And NAD is a molecule in the human body that's vital to aging well and remaining youthful in many ways. Our skin actually contains NAD in the skin cells. So if you want great skin, you should be having elevated levels of NAD throughout your body. And that's going to also go into your skin cells, going to go throughout your body. And NAD creates energy, maintains healthy DNA. What actually ages us is a change, a mutation, or the inability of our DNA to properly express ourselves. This is what the study of epigenetics is. And we also need to be able to detect and utilize the nutrients that we're eating efficiently and also protect our cellular health. We need to protect ourselves, but we also need to protect our cells. And then we need to support ourselves and then also support our cells. Fortunately, from age 30 to 70, these NAD levels decline up to 65%. This is significant. This has become more popular to hear about in the biohacking space, longevity space, because the research has been done. So simply put, when our NAD levels decline, aging will accelerate both from the visible signs of aging with your skin, not having really that glow that you wish you had before, and also with the just not having that energy to do the things that you want to do with your loved ones, to move your body and get all those things done that you need to do in the day. And I know that you're here because you care about aging well. So that's why I'm a huge fan of the Qualia NAD product. It's something I take. Actually, I need to take mine today. I have it on my desk here. And Qualia NAD is a clinically tested formula that can boost your NAD levels by up to 50%. And they have the clinicals to back it up. It's vegan, non-GMO, and a blend with three key naturally derived ingredients called NAD precursors that your body can then readily convert to NAD. NAD basically carries electrons along your electron transport chain in your mitochondria to then downstream, we get this spinning action with this pump to then make ATP. And that's why NAD is so key because it carries the electrons so that your mitochondria can make ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell and key for having uh, a healthy metabolism. There's also an additional 11 ingredients that are in there to support your body's NAD production. I've found that Qualia NAD really easy 
is the easiest way for me to support these NAD levels. And I think is great, especially to take when these NAD levels begin to decline after age 30. And also giving myself these vital molecules that I need that I might not be getting from my foods. And this is going to help me personally and you remain more youthful and energized in, well into our lives. So if you are over 30, you do want to get on top of declining NAD levels and stop losing one of the most vital molecules our body needs to make energy, which is ATP. Now to do this, you can head on over to neurohacker.com forward slash radiance and use code radiance for an additional 15% off. It's risk-free for a hundred days. This company really believes in their product. It's third-party lab tested. I've even done research for this product on this company on their skin line, which is great. So they're reaching out to people like me who is a big nerd on this stuff. And also really, if something we're taking is working, we should be able to see it in our sleep data. And then about four weeks later, we should be able to see it in our skin. If something is giving our body more nutrients, more needs on a cellular and energetic level, and also reducing inflammation, you're going to see it in your sleep data first, then you're going to see it visibly. And again, that's qualia NAD at neurohacker.com forward slash radiance with code radiance because it's all about both looking and feeling our best. We're not gonna look great if we don't feel good. If we don't feel good, the way that we're going to show up is looking more disheveled, is being scattered in the way that we speak. And it breaks my heart when I do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with someone and they can barely form coherent sentences. And this is related to simply the body not getting what it needs or there's toxins and that toxic bucket is full, otherwise known as oxidative stress and inflammation. And we typically get these exposures to toxins from air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, low quality foods, or eating the wrong foods for us, which is why I'm a huge fan of the biome test that you can get on my biohacking page. It looks at your gut and gives you a really succinct list for a couple hundred bucks as to what foods are going to be most helpful to you. Do all that stuff first and then detoxing with say sauna or a detox kit to help to clear out a couple times a year, yeast, fungi, mold, heavy metals, and parasites, because those really pull from your nutrients. They grab a lot, especially parasites. They hold on to a lot of heavy metals in our body and also pathogens. I was on a scientific round table and they were talking about animals and how when they gave animals antiparasitics, they actually cleared signs of Lyme's disease. And this is really interesting. The whole world of parasitology, I wish I learned more about this in my eight years of post-secondary education. There was one page in the textbook on parasites and it only occurred in third world countries. 80% of North Americans have parasites, especially if you have a dog, you've probably given your dog a hard dewormer, but you cannot put the cart before the horse in regards to maybe even working out again, or even before doing a detox, you really need to have your foundations on point first, start to add things like cold plunging in the AM or cold shower to start to train your nervous system. So that you show up more cool, calm and collected. Our faces tell us so much. You can really read someone by their face and get a lot of information. And I do this all the time because I've been studying faces. I've been rejuvenating faces since 2011. And if I come across someone and they're constantly furrowing their brows or tensing their lips or biting down all the time, there's some underlying stress that really needs to be looked at and needs to be resolved. And a huge component of that is your nervous system and your hormones. And actually in my membership, I've given the membership a bit of a facelift because I've recently had a life lift and have learned so much in regards to overcoming really difficult, challenging situations. And I was resilient through it. And I actually had a little bit of uh, another radiance upgrade since I did that last, last long fast in the desert at about 8,000 feet altitude for about a week. 
that really tested my metabolic flexibility. I'm really glad I did it. And I just felt in my body that it was time to do this. And I also recently felt in my whole life that there were some things that I needed to shift and let go of to make space for other things. So just because when life gets hard, it doesn't mean that your life is falling apart. It can mean that quite simply a door is closing. Another one is going to open. That's even better. And you're not going to be getting all the things that you desire to have in life. If you're not ready for it, God isn't going to give us exactly what we ask for on a silver platter. You know what he's going to do? He's going to test you. He's going to make sure that you're worthy and that you can handle these new things. So that's why when life decides to get turned upside down or something happens, family wise, professionally wise, personally, we're, we all, we're all going through stuff. Let's not be delusional here. Life isn't always a bed of roses. However, when you go through shifts and you see, wow, I was very resilient during that. I leaned into my personal development. I leaned into my self-care and then, wow, I'm seeing the results of all of that diligence. Perfection does not exist. However, Discipline and perseverance and strategy do for the behind the scenes strategies that I do that I'm just not quite comfortable talking about publicly, or it's a little bit more high level than what I'm comfortable sharing for free here on the show. You definitely need to secure your spot over at the school of radiance.com forward slash membership. And one of the things that I'm doing in there is I've restructured the whole thing. I thought I knew it all about a year, year and a half ago when I first launched the membership, but boy, was I wrong. There were more things, more strategies, more tools to add to be our purest version, to be our softest version. The more pure you are, the more energy you're going to have, the better your skin's going to look. Your hair is going to be more full. You're going to have better relationships. You're going to have a better internal dialogue with yourself. If you're noticing, say, negative thought forms, where are they coming from? If you're having food cravings for sweets, where are they coming from? If you're sort of like, I'm doing all the things that I'm supposed to do, labs are coming back normal, but you just know that something is missing and you don't know what to do next and say, maybe now you finally have the time to invest in yourself with both time and money to take yourself to the next level. The membership is an incredible place to be. When I started my business in 2018, I knew I had to have a clear storefront, which was looking great through skincare and rejuvenation in the one-on-one, -on -one, teaching how to use your products in the tutorials. But I always knew I was here to not just support and talk about the skin deep stuff. I always knew there was more for me to do, more layers for me to be of service. And it just so happens that as a teacher, we go through the ringer ourselves. And what it's shown me is this beautiful vulnerability that has allowed me to kind of like check myself a little bit, remain more humble in the process and take the time to really put these pieces together of really what it takes to both look and feel our best. It's not going to happen overnight. And it does require a number of different layers and various strategies to get you from where you are now, which might be, okay, got a, you know, an extra 10 pounds. I feel like I feel better than the way that I look and there's kind of a disconnect or you've woken up and you're like, what, what just happened? You're looking at yourself in the mirror. And what I want you to experience is looking at the mirror at yourself in the mirror and looking at yourself and saying, what happened? But in a really good way, like that happened. Oh my gosh. All of this hard work, this dedication, this perseverance, this knowing that I'm worthy to do these things is paying off. I was at the gym yesterday. I actually went to the gym twice. Like I said before, with some ladies pickleball in between, which is really fun. My body was hurting so much and I haven't really been able to work out in a few years because of the two car crashes, very frustrating. And I'm just like, you know what? I got to do this. I got to get back to the gym, lift those weights, get my muscle mass back up. 
And because I've really set the stage with reducing oxidative stress, giving my body the nutrients that it needs, especially with following a little bit more of a carnivore diet that works for my blood type. I've also done some sophisticated testing to back that up, that it's actually the right choice for me because it does depend on those things. Carnivore diet or any diet in general is not for everybody. And no, I don't follow it in an extreme way because actually being extreme in anything in your life is out of balance. It's all about being more centered, grounded, balanced, and aligned. But sometimes we're going to kind of go over here and sometimes we're going to kind of go over here. And that's okay, but notice it. Notice when you're not feeling quite like yourself, you're responding in ways that maybe there could have been a better way to respond to your loved one, or you're even noticing your loved ones responding in certain ways. When you have an awareness of just how much hormones impact us in the way that we show up and also the way that others show up, when I learned all this stuff, which is actually lesson one in the membership, I actually had a complete perspective shift on every single decision that I've made and noticing the actions of others, which actually gave me peace. And one of the things that was a big intention of mine about two months ago was clarity, clarity on situations. When you can see things more clearly, you're going to be able to see things more clearly and act more decisively with keeping your eyes on the target when you're in more of a noradrenaline state compared to a high adrenaline and high cortisol state. We tend to not make the best decisions in our lives at that point. So that's why having this grasp and this knowledge on our operating systems and why we've behaved a certain way in the past, why we've looked a certain way in the past, why we felt a certain way in the past, is just very enlightening. And it's very humbling to me. And it actually even gave me a sense of more empathy for myself and also more empathy for others. Now, here's the flip side. If you are a highly empathic, intuitive person, you also have to have a very good understanding that not everybody else behaves the way that you do out of integrity. Some people want that beautiful, desirable energy of yours, and they're going to take it and they don't care if it impacts you in a negative way. There are some really important strategies that I wish I learned sooner. And that's also another thing. I wish I knew all these things years ago. It would have just made my life so much easier. However, you do learn the right things at the right time when you're ready to handle it. And then you have to take time to integrate, and recalibrate. That's why the membership really is a year long container. That's how long it took me to initially instill the practices from observing thousands of clients of mine since 2011. Why did some people show up differently? Why were some people a pleasure to be around? Why were some people aged 60 to 90 presenting much better, even though they had fine lines, wrinkles, pigmentation, they still experienced some of the signs of aging, but they looked better and they were much more of a pleasure to be around. And then I would say one of the most important aspects here is they actually responded better. They had what I would say more powerful rejuvenation outcomes with less interventions needed. Now, it isn't just about showing up to a practitioner in the clinic and saying, hey, what do you think I need? Those that are going to get the best rejuvenation outcomes are very diligent with their at-home skincare, with their lifestyle, with their whole body, mind, spirit, energy practices. There is so much in the energetic side of things, the spiritual side of things, that when you're on this path of self-discovery, you do need to stay grounded and focus in areas that are really aligned with how you operate and with what feels good for you. Uh, as many of you know, I'm a Christian. My great-grandmother was a second female ordained evangelical minister in Canada. And then my great, great grandmother was a channeler from the UK who would do seances and levitate chairs in her living room or dining room rather. So I have a very interesting operating system. And as a researcher, I take this observer perspective and can dip into areas where there's information and then come back and report back. You know, sometimes when people are 
in this journey of biohacking and getting their health on track and really figuring out the different energetic and spiritual practices that are going to work better for them, you can really get derailed and get distracted from actually what's going to make the biggest impact for you. Now, for those of you who join the membership now, you're going to be seeing some videos that I recorded about a year ago when I first launched the membership. And I actually have to take them down. And the reason why is when I look at myself even a year ago, when I first launched the membership, I hardly recognize myself with the way that I look, the way that I speak, the way that I present myself, and just this more of the softness, this more feminine quality, but still very succinct, direct, and, you know, get things done kind of thing. Not just like this wishy-washy, oh, you know, I look gorgeous and I'm doing all these fun things. I'm going here, I'm going there, I'm doing that. Everything's fantastic, right? There's, there's this balance. And when I see myself a year from now, a year ago, oh, that's an interesting slip there a year from now. Oh, good Lord, please not another situation where there's going to be another Radiance 2.0. But what I'm getting at here is that fast really shifted things for me to see everything in my life differently. And then recently with this massive shift of just so many things happening within a month, very quickly, like I think that most people would have probably crumbled under the pressure, but it just shows me my resilience. And then I'm at the gym the other day, lifting some weights in front of the mirror. I got this cute little outfit on with my lilac yoga pants that are not full of plastics. You know, bamboo is a great option. A cute little sports bra. And I'm lifting these weights. I was like, oh my gosh. Looking at myself in the mirror, like seeing all this muscle definition, very lean. I surprised myself with how I was looking. I surprised myself. And this is something that actually has been a little bit challenging for me personally to notice, to notice that, wow, I went through a really hard time. I really should be looking haggard, but I look better than ever and I'm older. What's going on there? It's the radiance piece. It's the oxidative stress piece. It's the hormones piece. It's the life piece right? To give us more peace, all these pieces, right? Of us that make us who we are, our identity and having more peace in your life is key. So having for me, the right strategies, knowing that what I'm doing is moving things in the right direction, even though it's hard, even though it's new things, even though it's complete shifts of how I see myself and how I see others, like that was really hard. That was really hard. There were times there that I was exhausted and had a lot of things to do. I probably have about seven different jobs, honestly. Like when I tell people what I do, they're kind of like, whoa, you do that. However, I can do those things and be of service and receive that reward as well. But then this beauty reward, this beauty reward is something that's really interesting and I don't hear anybody else talking about. What I'm getting at is if I can experience this shift from really feeling like I'm in the dumps, seriously, like a lot of, a lot of hard shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. Sorry, little kiddos. Um, but, but no joke, like this was hard stuff, you know, death in the family all sorts of things, moving, renovation, breakups, like you name it. If anything could have happened, it was happening. And I still kept my chin up, my shoulders back with a straight spine, kept fueling myself with great foods, taking all my supplements, and then just really seeing myself like, wow, I got through that. I have more confidence now. And this is really what it is what I desire for each and every one of you. If it's possible for me, but not just once, like this was like a repeat situation, a repeat situation. Is at, and as I'm sharing that, it's like, oh my gosh, my core is so tight. And it's still weird for me when I touch my belly and there isn't that 10 pounds there anymore. It's still a bit strange, actually, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. And even when I see myself in the mirror and my body composition, my skin, it 
when I saw myself after this last, you know, massive shift, this, I call it a life lift. When I look at myself in the mirror, I'm kind of like, <laughs> that happened. I still can't quite believe it. And I don't know. I've just never heard about people talking about this. I hear people talking about online. It's like, oh, you see the signs of aging, yada, yada, yada. It sucks. Aging sucks. This is terrible, right? The only inevitable in life, here we go, is when we're born and when we die. It's what we decide to do in the space in between to make our lives as bright as possible, get what we desire, right? My six favorite off words, I'm not going to start here. Don't worry. Uh, faith, family, fun freedom, fitnesses, and finance. I think these are all key. Also, these six F words, I know I'm being a little bit shaky here, are also part of the key determinants of health, right? If you want to be healthy, we have to have things in check in various aspects of our life. It's not just skincare. It's not just rejuvenation. And I've seen this in my clients since 2011 that were just like, what's different about them? So I studied them, started to deploy what they were doing as well, had the car crashes, leaned into that stuff even more, did the fast. Wow, I look different. The pictures on the, the membership webpage are actually from that fast. And just now again, like I thought I knew it all. I thought I had this radiant strategy figured out. It's like, I knew nothing back then. And that's why this stuff is so important to know now. Like if you're going through life and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I just kind of, <sighs> something's got to change. This isn't what I thought my life would look like. Something's got to change. And like, this is, this is a hard reality to, to see that, you know, you have this quote unquote picture perfect life to those on the outside, but are you truly happy? Are you truly happy with who you are, what you're doing, how you're showing up? Do you even have the energy to show up for yourself? Do you even have the energy to show up for your loved ones? And do you have the energy to do what you need to do in your professional roles as well? For those of you who are retired or have kids, you know, this is a great opportunity, especially for those with kids with the kind of back to school situation. I've heard this from a number of you. It's like, once my kids go back to school, I'll have a little bit more time for myself. And also if the kids have moved out, right? But what I'm also getting at here is the stuff in the membership, we need to teach the younger generations. I wish that my parents taught me these things. However, in the North American culture, we're praised to tick all the boxes, right? And I was, I was on that trajectory of, you know, this hotshot aesthetic nurse getting flown all over the world to teach, present, yada, yada, yada. And then the first car crash happened. Okay. I started doing things. Okay. And then a second car crash happened. Okay. Wow. I really need to slow down quite a bit more. There's, there's something that needs to shift here. So when life hands you lemons, what I want you to do is just consider this as maybe a redirect instead. Not like, wow, this happened and I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Look at it like an opportunity for you to actually do more self-care, to do things that are constructive for you, that are going to make you look better. They're going to make you happier and they're going to make you a better human so that when you show up for others, you're showing up as your most truest purist. You know, I don't like to use the word authentic. I feel like that word's used a little too, like kind of flippantly, like show up as your authentic self. Okay. What does that mean? Like showing up without makeup and looking disheveled and not having a cute outfit on? No, I think that when we put on our makeup, if I'm feeling crummy, what I'll do is I'll actually put extra time into my appearance. And this is like a really funny bypass hack. I kid you not, because on the days, and I can think of a day that happened just last week in the AM, I had some clarity on a situation that something really needed to end. And then that afternoon, I got some really tough news too. It was a hard day. However, after I got the hard news in the AM, which actually I saw as just clarity. So it wasn't all bad, but it was still hard. I actually really put a little extra time in doing my makeup. I styled my hair a little extra fabulous and I put on a gorgeous white linen dress. 
when I went to different places, I had people coming up to me and saying, wow, I love your dress. You look gorgeous today. And what that was in, what's interesting about that is number one, I was able to receive those compliments. But number two, I brought more beauty into other people's lives because if I had just had a woe is me moment, okay, I'm just going to do like a bun and put on an outfit that I put on all the time and just kind of like show up and be on that autopilot mode. I would have missed out on those opportunities to get that feedback for myself and that be, those receiving those beautiful compliments. And then I also would have missed out on other people seeing like, wow, this woman, like she takes really good care of herself. She looks fantastic. You know, I want that. I want that too. Well, the thing is, is that you can have, you have choices. We all have choices. It just depends. Are those choices going to be good choices and constructive choices, or they're going to be choices that you're making because your nervous system is out of whack and your hormones are out of whack and you're not happy. You're going to make choices that aren't going to be the best choices. And one of the things I've really learned over this very short period of time is Number one, the Schumann resonances were elevated. We were getting blasts with solar energy, and I've been tracking something called the Schumann Resonance app for probably about two years now. And over the last few weeks, we've had a major amplification to the effect where the Paris power grid went out. This stuff affects telecommunications, and it also affects us. I had a number of people in the health and longevity space and worldwide change makers, actually, that I'm lucky to call my friends and that I call on when I need support, but they needed support from me. They're like, oh, I'm seeing some stuff in my skin. It's kind of weird. So they come to me for help with that. And then they're also like, I'm doing all the things. Like, I don't know what I'm missing here. And if that's that, there are some of the, I would say more esoteric stuff to work on. But it was also just this huge shift with the solar energy, which impacts what's called the Earth's ionosphere. That's why we've been seeing more aurora borealis around the globe. And we are highly electromagnetic beings. Everything in our body is mediated by positive and negative electrons. They're really small. You can't see them, but they're running the show. There's also this even smaller layer in between that, which is the ether, which I think is where more like consciousness resides. And there are some technologies that actually work with the ether and can actually harness energy from that. I would know uh, some of my connections are retired NASA scientists. I see the technology that they're working on. So it's not so much like quantum, which is more Einstein kind of stuff. It's a little bit more Tesla and the space in between. So there's like these two, these two super nerds out there, groups of super nerds that are like, no, it's the quantum. No, it's the space between. I think it's both. I think that we forget about the space between. And one of the cool things here, and then we're going to, we're going to conclude is that the fifth element you've heard of, you know, earth, air, wind, water, where's fire? Earth, air, no, air is wind. (laughs) Earth, wind, water, and fire. Those are the four elements. Glad I got that straight. Wow. And then the fifth element. Okay, we've all seen that movie, The Fifth Element. It's kind of a cool movie with Bruce Willis, who isn't acting anymore, unfortunately, because of health stuff. The fifth element is called quintessence. This has been the elusive part in the scientific world. And it's quintessence. It's the dark matter. It's the space between which actually, interestingly enough, makes up about 80% of our universe. (laughs) So this massive component to who we are in life is we don't see it. We don't see it. But when there's shifts in that, we feel it, don't we? We feel it. And So with that, with the stuff that we feel, but we don't see, there are some other uh, researchers that I follow in this space that actually a lot of them are are quite old, Um, not quite old, but they're more mature. They're more in their 80s and not quite old. That was a terrible thing to say. Catch yourself. Uh, they're more mature. They've been around the block. They've studied things for a really long time. In fact, some of them have even passed away, but their knowledge 
has really made an impact. So there are some of those things that are in the membership that I'm not going to talk about publicly for a couple of reasons, because for those of you who are tuning in and you're getting all the free stuff, you haven't yet made the decision to actually invest in yourself with the beautiful things that I have to offer. You're not ready for it. You're simply not ready for it. You're like, oh, I'm going to get all the free stuff from this speaker, from that speaker, this stuff on social media. You're really getting kind of breadcrumbs and you're trying to piece everything together. And that's really hard. That's going to take you a lot of time. You might not even get the result that you're after. But I also recognize that not everybody has money and some people are living paycheck to paycheck. I totally recognize that. So you're still getting some great information here. Absolutely. For those of you who are ready for that deeper dive, the membership is really where it's at. I cannot stress this enough. And it's only for those. It's not for everybody. It's only for those who realize that, okay, there's some things that this Rachel Varga person is talking about that is really resonating and it's pulling on your heartstrings and you know that something's got to give because if something doesn't give, what's going to give is your beauty and your energy. And then from that confidence, now being our most beautiful, radiant, confident versions, most clear headed, pure versions of ourselves, I think is what's going to allow us to be better leaders, better parents, better friends, better partners, better coworkers, than just kind of like the way that the 99% are living. And for those of us who do feel like, okay, there's something that I can share that's of value, uh, you know you're special, right? It's very nihilistic to think that you're not special and life is dreary and dreadful. And believe me, I was around a nihilist for far too long. And that actually in and of itself impacted my hormones. And I'll sh I share more on that in, in the membership. But this was kind of like, uh, let's get into the energy side of things. How can we have more energy? And the NAD product is definitely something that can help. I'm going to give you a couple nuances and a couple tricks here is you want to take it around noon with some food because I found if I take it early in the daytime, what happens, actually it only happened once, but I felt like very warm and flushed. I took it at the day, a day when I was at an event and I was at a hotel and it wasn't really eating the best, obviously not the best coffee. I live great 90 to 99% of the time. The other time, okay, sure, I'll have some subpar coffee, but I feel it. So I was like, oh, why am I feeling kind of weird? Is it from the food? No, it was from the NED. I took it much earlier. I think I took it at about 7.30 or 8 a.m. compared to about noon. So noon, I don't have any of that stuff. And just know that everybody's doing the best that they can. And what you see on social media is the highlight reel. You're here, you're learning this stuff. You're definitely on the right track. And I'm simply here as a humble human on a mission here to help you both look and feel your best. Thank you so much for joining me here on the School of Radiance podcast. Have a great rest of your day or have a fantastic sleep. But I love you all so much. And I'm here to support you on your journey of both looking and feeling your best.